We're working to win you over. News Center 2 with John McDonald, Jerry Weber, Gary Galvin, and the news team of News Center 2. Good evening, this is the news. The United States and Russia are reported to be very close tonight to a... TV 13 Tucson. The CBS Evening News with Morton Dean. Good evening. The mini Midi summit conference is over. The word early... The following is a rebroadcast of Action News at 10, which aired on Friday, March 9th, 1979. President Carter and Egyptian President Anwar Sadat have ended their second day of peace talks, but today's talks apparently did not produce anything concrete. Good evening and welcome to Action News at 10. I'm Dick Niffing. Carter was cheered by millions of Egyptians today as he traveled by train from Cairo to Alexandria. Although Sadat This is Big Four Weekend News with John Convoy. Bill Peterson with sports. And Gail Gordon with AccuWeather. Well, the question of the day is, where were you during the blizzard of 1980? Most El Pasoans were shocked when they awoke this morning to find the largest amount of snow on the ground ever in the month of April. The last time is making the business of living better for everyone. KLAS, TV8, Las Vegas. This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening, Illinois Congressman John Anderson today withdrew from the race for the... Medical Center has been sponsored by Earnhardt Ford at Rural and Baseline Road in Tempe, and I guarantee you, this ain't no bull. KOOL TV Channel 10 Phoenix. And now, from Arizona's largest and most respected broadcast news team, this is Cool News 10. With Bill Close and Mary Jo West, Joe Doherty, and Mike Leonard. Good evening. It has been an agonizing day for America, an abortive raid to free the American hostages, and the resulting death of eight American commandos. The president... What I love, how can I make sure... Beautiful feeling. Turn to the team, the Eyewitness News Team 6 and 10, here on TV4. This is a rebroadcast of Eyewitness News Update, originally shown at 10 p.m. Saturday night, April 26, 19... Greg Garcia... Susan Muchagimba on sports. Professional meteorologist Dan True. This is Eyewitness News 4. For the first time in 175 days, Iran says there are no hostages in the American embassy in Tehran. They've been moved to various locations around the city by the militants who planned on sending them all over the country to make a second rescue attempt even harder. The this is Channel 12 KFES-TV. This is Channel 12 News with news anchors Mike Shane and Jane Mitchell, weathercaster Don McNeely, and sports director Randy Ray. Good afternoon. Over two acres of high-grade marijuana plants were confiscated near the Perry-St. Genevieve County line earlier today. Arrests were made last night, Mike, and the weed was cut and burned this afternoon. Now, the crop... WCBD TV2 in Charleston.
Good afternoon, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Joan Mack is off tonight. In the news, the fight is over, at least temporarily. Beginning today, labor and management at West Vaco will sit at the negotiating table for another try at an agreement. Lisa LaFont. Have anything you like. WCOV-TV, Channel 20, Montgomery. This is Newsroom 20 at 5, Montgomery's first look at news, sports, and weather. Good afternoon again, everybody. I'm Kim Wanis reporting. The state's financial health is in the news again today. Governor James says reports that some state agencies are going broke are exaggerated, and the state's finance director, Rex Rayner, agrees that while there is no cause for alarm, the state needs to cut back on spending. Danita Wood. sets November 2nd as the election date. Among the issues, the trust fund. The first Canadian ever reaches the summit of Mount Everest. The Swedes may have another Soviet sub trapped in the waters near Stockholm. Lance Brown reports on baseball playoffs and Bill predicts cloudy weather. ITV News. 10 o'clock edition with Barbara Kelly and Doug Main. Good evening. What will be the most expensive election campaign ever conducted in Alberta is now... Serving Hamilton, Toronto, and the Niagara Peninsula, this is CHCH TV 11. October 7th, 1982. At last, GO train service will be expanded to Hamilton, and the sod is turned for Hamilton's airport revitalization. Well, a very good soggy evening, everyone. I'm Dan McLean, and this is TV 11 Newsroom. Hi, everybody. I'm Dick Meadows. On a bad, soggy evening, we have got lots of baseball. We've got plenty of track from Brisbane and some fine high school football in the rain. Dan? One year for planning and three years for construction in four... When I get through... Brought to you in part by Chevron USA. Service 2 presents Alaska Nightly News with Victor George, Linda Taylor, and the entire Channel 2 News team. Good evening. Compromise was the key to the tentative agreement reached in Washington between Interior Secretary James Watt and Alaska... KRDO-TV, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, serving Southern Colorado. <laughs> From the Broadcast Center for Southern Colorado, this is News 13, the early report with Scott Pope, Tammy Gordon with weather, and John Eves with sports. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. Cameras are beneficial in the courtroom. At least that's what a Boulder judge said today concerning the... WRAL TV 5. This is 530 First News. Welcome and thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Leslie. Donna Gregory has the day off. The Saturday air traffic controller Chevy Chase is cleared for laughs in the hilarious Modern Problems. Saturday afternoon at 2 on your Fox 14 matinee movie. Good evening. In tonight's headlines in Washington, Supreme Court Justice William Brennan has turned in his resignation of President Bush. He's 84 years old and recently suffered from a stroke. In news from the courts, a federal appeals judge has reversed one of the Oliver North convictions. The court ordered a review of all three of his convictions to determine if his trial was tainted by his televised testimony before Congress. 
And on Capitol Hill, the House Ethics Committee is recommending a full reprimand of Congressman Barney Frank after having a homosexual relationship with a male prostitute. More headline news in a moment. Sunday. Keep it down. Stop. Mark uses his head to take on the school bully. Let me help you dry those tears. The Simpsons. Then Kelly uses her assets in a music video. What do you want? Your liver on a stick. A hilarious married with children. And Keenan and company use whatever it takes to make you laugh. Give it up for the band, ladies and gentlemen. In living color right after The Simpsons and married with children. It's Sunday, dudes. Ahora, KNBN-TV, Canal 33, queda fuera del aire. This is KNBN-TV, Channel 33, signing off the air. This is KRLD-TV, signing on the air. Metro Media Television, serving Dallas-Fort Worth. This is the KRLD 7 p.m. News with Quinn Matthews, Carl White Sports, and Joe Reardon with the weather. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. We are glad you're with us for this inaugural broadcast of KRLD TV News. In the top story, a fi fire Dallas ambulance call screening nurse has lost the second round in her fight to get her job back. A city trial Myrick. She was. BCTV signs on of Expo, April 21st. Just watch us now. This is KAKE TV 10, Wichita, Kansas. KFMB TV, Channel 8 in San Diego. KFMB TV, San Diego. Yes, bleach is like having. Monday night at 7 on the $25 million movie. Timothy Bottoms and Jane Seymour star in the TV 25 premiere of East of Eden. Monday on KOKH TV, 25 gives you the stars. Dan Slocum and Linda Cavanaugh tonight on News 4 Oklahoma. You are great. You're watching 20 Vision, KTXH TV, the great movie station here in Houston. Twenty one for Quincy, weeknights at eleven on KXRM TV twenty one. Turn twenty one or showcase twenty one, weekdays at seven on KXRM TV twenty one. The Johns Hopkins Science Review originates in the studios of WAAM in Baltimore. This is the Dumont Television Network. WBFS TV. WMC TV Memphis. It's 
Tic-tac-toe. Join Quizmaster Wink Martindale as he trades grips and questions with some of television's biggest cash and prize winners. Plenty of knowledge, skill, and lots of luck are what you need. But watch out for the dragon. See contestants compete for cash and prizes. Catch Wink Martindale and all the excitement of Tic-tac-toe every day. 6.30 tonight on TV5. WMC TV Memphis. Hi, my name's Bill. I watch Channel 12 right at home in Warwick. Boston's Entertainment Channel 25 WXNE TV. Explore the mysteries of the Milky Way. Experience the electrifying impact of a Nova and a Pulsar. And witness the ultimate fate of Earth. All on part two of Cosmos, a special edition by Carl Sagan. Tonight at 8 on 25. 50. And Secret Lives, Secret Lives. First break is at 104, 104. Second break, 1214, 1214. Third break, 2328, 2320. Tulsa 23. KOKI TV, beginning our telecasting for the day. Tulsa 23 broadcasts from studios at 7422 East 46th Place in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We operate on Channel 23 with a license from the Federal Communications Commission. We broadcast with a visual power of 3.2 million watts and an oral power of 320,000 watts. Our transmitter is located in Oneida, Oklahoma. Our pledge is to give you only our best each day. We hope you enjoy the day ahead. Saturday at noon, a Tony Curtis double feature, Son of Alibaba and the Purple Mask, because Tulsa 23 plays favorites. Starts now. On the morning show. KCRA 3 News starts right now. Good morning. Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News at 6. Football season. Impact the metro area with all the celebrations going on. We'll 
Check that out right after the break. Stay with us. You're watching KMTV 3 News Now with Megan Hahn, Weather Alert Team Meteorologist John Walsh, and Sports with Ben Stevens. This is KMTV 3 News Now Weekend. Weather is live, local, late breaking. This is WNBF News. Right now on WNBF News, a Darlington.